Now, I've seen countless videos and photos on Instagram and Twitter of streamers who are actually have taken their Elgato uh, key lights and pointed them against the wall, reflecting the light. And they do this because it's too bright or it's too distracting for them. Um, now, when I started to actually look for my own stream lights, I was really hesitant about getting these t the key lights, which is very, very popular. Uh, for two reasons. Reason number one was these lights sole purpose is it, that's what it is. It's basically it's a light and quite frankly they sit on the stand and they take up a lot of real estate on your desk and I didn't want to have that. I didn't have a lot of room to work with with the monitors and I didn't want to do that. So the second reason was uh, the key light itself is $200 and the key light air is $130 which is quite a bit of money for quite frankly a paperweight it's kind of an eyesore so i wanted something that would still provide good lighting while at the same time look aesthetically appealing and that's when i came across the philips hue play bar and i've seen some people mention this in reddit posts and stuff but i haven't actually seen anybody use them as their stream lighting and that's mainly because these lights are designed to be backlighting as you can see it's what i've got here they've got these nifty little mounts that sit on the back and boom there you go you got your backlighting. However, what caught my attention the most was the fact that these lights are controlled very similar to the key light and it's through the Philips Hue app on the phone and they can also still be integrated into the stream deck, um, which allows you to click on and off, change whatever light you want, dim it, all that. But most importantly, what caught my attention was the fact that I could actually get two of these Philips Hue play lights for the price of one key light air of $130. So I knew exactly what I wanted to do there. I just only had one issue. And that really was is they are pointed in the back, not in the front. So when I'm streaming, I need them to be up front. And when I'm not, and I want them out of the way, I can hide them and put them in the back. So this is how I did it. Now, before we get going, if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button for more content in the future. I would really appreciate it. Also, catch me on Twitter and on Twitch where I stream often. You can see me gaming there. To get you started, you're gonna need a few items. One, you're gonna need a drill. Along with that drill, you need a 732nd drill bit. Alcohol wipe to clean. And of course, Philips Hue. You're gonna need that, it's kind of important. A screwdriver. And last, you're gonna need this little camera mount or something similar. Now I found this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. So first, let's show you how to connect the Philips Hue play bar to the camera mounting bracket. You're gonna need to grab a couple of things out from the play bar packaging. You'll see two different types of stands. Make sure that you use the upright stand that sits at a 90 degree angle. Next, you'll need the baggie that has the 3M double-sided tape, tiny screw, and Allen wrench in it. On the underside of the stand, you'll notice a small circle ring. You'll need to take your 7 32nd drill bit and carefully drill a small hole through the center of that ring. Next, grab your camera mount and remove the top threaded adapter shown here. Then, take the top post of the camera mount, slide it through the hole you drilled on the play bar stand, and screw the threaded adapter back onto the post. Make sure you have this tightened down firmly so it doesn't move later on. Grab the 3M tape, small screw, and Allen wrench from the baggie. On the back of the play bar, you'll notice two different screw holes where you can mount the play bar to the stand. I wanted to mount it to the center of the bar, but whichever hole you use works and is up to you. Simply line up the screw hole on the play bar with the hole on the stand and screw it in using the Allen wrench and small screw. And there you go. Now that you have your play bar connected to your camera mount, let's get it mounted to the back of your monitor. 
So, there's a couple of different ways you can mount the rig to the back of your monitor. One, you can use the 3M sticky tape and mount it to a flat surface on your monitor like this. Or two, if your monitor has a regular VESA mount screw hole, you can use those to attach your rig. I personally prefer this route just because it provides a more secure hold. However, I'll show you how to do both. To mount the rig using your monitor's VESA screw holes, you'll take the 3M sticky back and apply one side of it to the bottom of the camera mount's base. Make sure to apply it as shown so one of the screw holes remains uncovered. Next, you'll need to remove one of the VESA mount screws from the back of the monitor. For me, I needed a screw that was long enough to extend through the camera mount, a monitor arm, and still thread into the VESA screw hole. If you need to do this too, you can easily find the screw you need at your local hardware store. Simply just thread the screw into the hole and tighten until it's secure. Do not over tighten though, just make sure it's snug. You don't want to strip those threads. These camera mount arms allow you to adjust the rig in pretty much any position. When you tighten down this knob, it restricts the movement in each of the arm joints keeping it locked in place. When you're mounting the rig with only the 3M tape, make sure that the surface you're putting it on is flat and is clean thoroughly. As well, make sure that you clean the base of the camera mount too, then apply one side of the 3M sticky tape to it. Then, peel off the film on the other side and slap it up on the clean portion of your monitor. Now, attach the play bar stand to the camera mount arm with a threaded adapter. After that, grab your play bar and screw it to the stand using the small screw and allen wrench. Now, just plug it in and you're done. And that is how you can connect up your own Philips Hue play bars to work both as your backlighting and your stream lighting. So the other cool thing that you can actually do is you can control your stream lights and any of your other lights that you have set up as long as they're Philips Hue. Uh, through the Philips Hue app on your phone. And like I said earlier, I see a lot of streamers where they're turning around their lights because it's too bright or where they're at, whatever the case may be. But you can just simply dim them down or bring them back up. So I'm gonna be actually be doing another video on a little bit more in depth on the actual app and how I've integrated it into the stream deck. So while I'm streaming, I can have viewers select a color on the wall behind me or on my desk or uh, when I get a, you know, a donation or something, have it do something like uh, shoot off some fireworks like this, um, where everything goes nuts. Other things like that that you can do as well. So stay tuned for another video coming up and uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you did like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and uh, catch me on Twitch. We'll see you around.